Greetings, RC Model 3 Geeks, and here we are in the shed, yet again, for part 13 of the Sarek Hobbies to Haviland Canada Chipmunk Build. So today is going to be a day of not a lot of action. There's still more prep work to be done for the wing, and that will probably take most of the day. So what have we got to do? We've got to cut the leading edge. Now, before some of you bright sparks go, oh, I would have just bought some ready-made leading edge. You can't. Right, it's a tapered wing, yeah, and it goes from some humongous size up at the root, like an inch, and it goes all the way down, if we measure that, there, to about three-eighths. So, if you bought some um, pre-cut leading edge, it'd be useless anyway. So we've got to cut that. We've got to cut the taper in it, etc, etc, etc. That's all good. The other thing we have to do is uh, cut some strip wood here. We need a lot of 16th inch by a quarter. There's a fair bit of that that we need to cut. So we'll cut that. We've also got to mark on the ribs the position of the push rod that runs through uh, the wing. And I'll bring the camera over so you can see it. There it is, the dotted line there, the dotted and dashed line. And that goes up to bell crank. Now I've got some uh, bell cranks, uh, here is one, there you go, amazingly it's the same size. Um, now I'm going to slightly change how this works. Um, as you can see at the moment the two rods cross over, so one rod would come through from the top of the uh, bell crank, one would come through from the bottom to give you the clearance at the crossover point. Now I'm going to be using clevises rather than putting bends in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this around basically and I'm going to have it like that. Yeah so that we don't get the crossover um, because I'm using clevises we won't have a joggle to give us the clearance so I'm going to end up mounting this about there with this slot just sticking through that rib and moving like that rather than out here with the crossover on it so I've got to sort that out and like I said, we've got to get the positioning of this rod because we've got to put holes in every rib. And they've got to be pretty accurate because they're actually supporting the push rod. There's no outer guide. Uh, it's just the wood that acts as the guide on this. So that is what we've got to do today. Uh, there's a few other little bits and pieces that we could maybe make um, before we start sticking the wing together. We'll see how that goes. Now I'm going to put um, the, the chipmunk has nav lights on it. Um, on the wing tips here. And it has a, uh, a position light on the tail white light on the tail and it also has uh, two lights I think it's two it might be one don't know um, on the undercarriage fairings as well and we'll be putting those in 
I don't think it had beacons. I think it just had uh, position lights. So yes, so we're getting there. Um, I've started to make up this uh, this tail end bit here for the uh, wing as well. I'm just waiting for the hardwood block to glue off. I didn't have one the right size, so I had to glue two bits of hardwood together. Um, so that is gluing off in the vise. So yeah, it could be a very boring day for you lot out there. Um, I'd like to thank uh, uh, Jerry, um, who is quite a regular uh, donator, shall we say, to the channel. Um, he's made a very generous donation, thank you very much. Uh, that will be very useful for uh, for getting parts for the, uh, the chipmunk. So, I'm going to carry on, plod on slowly. Like I said, there's no rush to get this done. We want a nice model at the end of it, uh, so we will take our time and do it right. Do it right and do it once. Right, well, as you can see, uh, unless I've got a very tall tripod mm -hmm. with a beard, uh, yeah. Mad Collins here. Hi guys, how's it going? <laughs> Hope you're all well. Oh yes. So, uh, it's been so long since I made the video, I've forgotten what I've shown you already today. Hmm. So we'll probably just repeat ourselves. But um, yeah, uh, like I said, it's a day of not really building, it's a day of making parts and doing things like that. So what I did, here's all the ribs. Now you see I've put a line on those ribs, yeah? But that is the line where the push rod, as in on here, I showed you earlier uh, is going to go we don't know the height yet because I haven't plotted that out but it, we know that it will be on that line somewhere so we're halfway there so I've done that um, one other thing you've got to do of course with all your ribs is you've got to make sure that your wood fits in these notches yeah don't just presume it will you've got to trial fit each notch yeah and make sure that it, the wood sits completely flush with the bottom of the rib. If you don't, you're going to have like a horrible shaped wing. So you've got to do that as well. And at the back here, you've got to make sure that your little pieces there of uh, whatever they are, 16th or 8th, be 8th, wouldn't it? Yeah, um, fit in there perfectly without protruding. If they don't fit, you've got to file them. Mm, fit them in. Yeah, fit them in. Uh, what else have we done? Um, oh, we made this. As you can see, it's got a nice uh, curve on it. Now, that is the block that uh, the wing bolt goes through in the wing. Hmm. It's hardwood block. Um, I had to make it out of two pieces because I didn't have the piece wide enough. Uh, I didn't want to buy a bit of wood just to make that, so I basically glued two bits together. Bob's your uncle. And that sits at the back of the wing here, uh, and it sits in there like that. And there's, they've got a drawing of it here, as you can see, um, where it all sits. Because the underneath of the wing on the chipmunk has got like three sort of curves on it. Uh, as can you see here as well. Now this block of wood is also screwed so it's uh, nice and secure in there. It's got screws going through that way to tie everything together and then bolt going through for the uh, for the wing bolt. So we made that uh, and then we made a few other bits didn't we? Mm -hmm. um, there's some other bits for this assembly here so we made those, and we also made some of these curves. You need to make these curves here that go at the back there as well. So we made all that. Um, and that's pretty much all done, really. Oh, and the centre thing here as well. You need to make another central rib. It's only a short one. It only goes between there and there. 
um, and what you do is you use the template where well, you use rib number one which is this one as a template to make up that central rib there uh, I've actually made it wrong because um, I wasn't thinking so I've got to make another one it actually doesn't have the cutout in it there or a tab sticking out so it's basically like that and straight across there and that sits in the middle so I've got to make another one of those um, other things I've still got to make I've got to cut all the trailing edges um, need loads of uh, sixteenth by a quarter strip got to cut all those yet and and that's about it so I don't think we'll be constructing the wing today um, but we're nearly there with all the bits hmm. while Mad Collins here I might just get him to hold the ruler and we'll uh, cut off some, uh, <coughs> some strips off a bit of sheet mm -hmm. and then they'll be done as well and then I think we can actually um, put it together uh, oh no, I've got to cut the leading edges still as well. I haven't even done that. Uh, we had to sort Marsh Pete over as well, didn't we? Yeah, we got peated. So, uh, yeah, construction rather sort of stopped for a, uh, a little while. But yes, uh, that is as far as we've got. So um, I'm going to uh, get on and uh, hopefully get all the gribbly bits done today, ready for a, uh, a clean start tomorrow on construction. So, we're pretty much done for the day, aren't we, Mad Colin? We are indeed. So, what have we done? We have made all these strips mm -hmm. that are needed for the wing. There are, you need 10, 10 36 inch lengths mm -hmm. uh, for the wing on that. Can't remember we've showed this before. This is the leading edge. Uh, for the wing, and there's two of them. Yep. That's made out of quarter, so they're all cut to shape. They're precision cut. Oh God, are they? Eh? They are, aren't they? To the, to the. Well, over inch. the. They're to the inch, aren't they? Yeah, to the inch. <laughs> <laughs> well, over the metre length, the only difference is uh, an error of uh, two thousandth of an inch, yeah. which ain't bad, cut no. by hand. Yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, so yeah. Um, that'll help us keep the wing straight as well, so that is good. Hmm. So the only other thing to do, I won't be doing it today, but it's what I told you about earlier, which is um, where you've got your uh, wing spars. Now on this plane uh, they are spruce, mm -hmm. just like this. The, uh, originally the drawing calls for uh, balsa but it's been supplied as spruce, which is going to make it a lot stronger anyway. Oh, yeah. And as I was saying, what you've got to check for, and we'll show it here, is that, as you can see, that doesn't fit. It fits that way around. There we go. Right. You want to make sure that all of your ribs fit exactly like that. You don't want this bit protruding past here. It's got to be completely flush. Yeah, same as here. There you go. That's what you've got to check for on every single rib before you put it together. Mm. Because if you slot this together and you don't check that, you know, one could end up high and it'll make your wing out. You know, it'll sit like that. I've seen so many kits built with a gap like that. Mm. Yeah, because people didn't check. You know? And if it all slots together like that, perfect, you can have a perfect wing. Hmm. Yeah, so check all those as well. And the same at the back. Yeah, uh, let me grab one of these. They, they supply spruce for the, uh, for the smaller uh, spars as well. There it is. And you want to check again that fit like that. You got it? Yeah. Mm, yeah, oh yeah, I got it. Yeah, see how good that fit is? That's what you've got to check for. That will keep your wing nice and straight. Hmm. So, that is it for the day. Yes. 
We have done well, Mad Colin. So tomorrow we can build this wing, or I can. Hmm. Um, yeah, I, I can't think of anything else that was that we've got to do. Ah, well, the only other thing, <laughs> yeah, there is one thing. We've got to make the uh, blocks for the undercarriage, and we've got to make sure that they fit in the available slots again. Um, which is looking at this, it's this slot here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there'll be some wood. It says it's three eighths by a half inch, and that should be what this is. Yeah, mm. had to order this as well, it didn't come in the kit. Right. That doesn't fit, does it? What gets that then? Ah, look, there's two different bits there. How did that happen? That's what we want to know because we're only using one bit of that. Right, so there's your three apes. See, she's uh, tight there. Hmm. Don't try and force it thinking that'll go in there because it'll end up cracking the wood along grain. Hmm. Yeah? So you can either open up this slightly or you never know this might be oversize what's three eights it's three eight uh three about three eighty isn't it no i can't remember off the top of my head no it's it's slightly over probably if you lost that put it down at three eighty she'd probably fit well, the uh, length is one, two, five, so three of them is. Can't think. <laughs> there you have it. Colin can't think. No, it's just gone. Uh, a what? Well, it can't be. An eighth uh, isn't one, two, five. Yeah, a quarter's two fifty, an eighth is one, two, five, a sixteenth is sixty two thou. Gone in. Uh, so um, it's uh, two. You say your background's engineering, mate. Yeah, three. Yeah, right. oh, no, I haven't got my head in it today. Go on, Rob. <laughs> three seven five, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, three. <laughs> seven, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> right. So this is slightly over. <laughs> it's three eight two. Okay. So it's that that's too big, right? So which all we'll do is we'll cut these to the right length and we'll just put them on the sander hmm. and bring them down to size. Um, these are for the undercarriage blocks, by the way. Yeah, and I just ordered a um, a lighting set for the plane. Hmm. I decided that I wanted the lights on it, so. Um, got an all singing all dancing lighting set that will be going on the plane as well hmm excellent what a bright idea yeah yeah it's good isn't it hmm so that's it like comment and subscribe remember there are lots of people out there that watch these videos hmm and aren't subscribers and we need subscribers otherwise we can't do things like this yeah so, it's goodbye from... Oh, and don't forget, the most important thing, have a look at Sarek Hobby's website, sarekhobbies.com, link in the description. Without them, we wouldn't be making this. Hmm. So go and buy something. Yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. So, see you all tomorrow. Yep, oh no, from... it's bad, 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 bad. Yeah, it's, oh, uh, Joe, you know what, mate? I'm so out of practice, <laughs> aren't I? Eh? It's because you don't come round very often. No, no. Because you're not really my mate, are you? No. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been... I don't have any mates. I've been George. Remember my that? daughter's got a flat and it's all hands to the deck getting that ready. So I haven't been able to come round and help Rob as much as I would wish to. So well, there you go. You too. Mm. Uh, what? Uh, what? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so it's goodbye from Mad Colin over there. <laughs> and it's goodbye from Captain Rob and Scratchy here. There you go. Yeah, thanks, mate. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you. Cheers, Ed. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching Captain Rob's RC Model Geeks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like button. If you want to see more of the same type of videos, don't forget you can subscribe. If you want to support us, 
You can use PayPal, paypal.me forward slash RC Model Geeks. If you want to contact us, you can email us rcmodelgeeks at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.